event at the Baltimore Arms Show. It's uh, March 22nd, supposedly the second day of spring, and we come down here in uh, three inches of snow. But we'll hope that the trip will be worth it. So let's go in and see what things look like in there. This is the best arms show in the country. It's going to be good. Well, we, uh, we made it inside of the show. And as uh, you collectors may know, this, this show is mostly a um, antique arms show. But there is a lot of Third Reich things, which we'll show you later as we come across them. But just coming in, uh, there's a number of Civil War swords here that are just outstanding. These are all special order. Uh, a lot of them have dedications on them. And just looking at, uh, at some of the prices, there's a sword here for a mere 55000 but just beautiful stuff. Is this the revenue? Yes. What do you look? What do you need for that? There's an interesting sword here that that has a pearl inlay all down the scabbard. I've never seen that before. Very, very interesting touch. It's a presentation was given to a uh, Colonel James Biddle. Ninety-two hundred dollars. Looks like a bargain to me. So we'll walk around and see if we can find some third Reich stuff. You see, you have your usual quality here. Uh, it really looks nice. Collectors, we have a, an 1850 pattern here. But look at the decoration on it and the extra cost items with the, with the, pierced, um, the pierced sword guard and the etched blade. That sword's in mint condition, isn't it, Jack? It looks like it's hardly ever in big use. Yeah. What's a sword like that worth? A couple thousand? Uh, yeah. 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 Really beautiful. You always have the best. What are you doing? I thought I'd share that with you. No, just walking around admiring all the gold. Yeah, shopping is much more fun than the uh, It is, okay. you're right. So that That's fun. Uh, well, we came along, you know, with this. It's an arms show, as I told you before, but every once in a while, you run into some Nazi stuff, and here we are. Look at all these great daggers, and that handsome guy behind there. If you need your teeth pulled, he can do that, too. So what more could you want, you know? How are you, Ken? Yeah, it's good. I was looking at this first model Luftwaffe. Uh, you've got a price of uh, nine and a half. What can you do on that one? A bargain for all Whitman, you know? Eight and a half? What do you think, collectors? Pretty nice piece. See those gilded sun wheels? Boy, they always sell well. People love that. It's an unmarked blade, but a lot of times these later ones are. So I think we'll buy that. And Ken had another good piece here. This is one of those Helbig crackle finish pieces. Look at the condition of that. Yeah. Must have come in from one of your patients, Ken. Not this one. Not that one? You didn't put a couple crowns on to get this baby? Yeah. Oh, we're still going to buy it. You know why? Because it really doesn't matter what you pay if the piece is really in good condition. Because there's always somebody out there that's got to have it. This one's really nice. even has the belt loop with it. All right, we're going to buy these two. Thank you. Well, we're still wandering through the show here, and this is certainly not military, but you collectors can appreciate the magnificence of hand-carved wood. This is a black forest bear. Absolutely fantastic. Imagine how many hours must be in that to simulate that fur and all. It's really wild. It's got a nice price on it, too. I'm sure you can see it in the video. Probably worth it, though.
stopped at this table here, and uh, for those that are interested in, in history uh, and very rare weapons, we have two firearms here that were once owned by Annie Oakley. Uh, the rifle is a lever opening type, and uh, it was attributed to Annie Oakley, and it was sold by a fa member of her family in, in 1940. Pretty neat, huh? And then next to it is a gold-plated pistol that's also attributed to Annie Oakley. Look at those pearl grips, the beautiful engraving work on the butt. Boy, what a piece of history, huh? We have a table here that has some uh, magnificent German handguns. At the top is a Borchardt pistol with an original stock, and underneath that is an artillery Luger with a snail drum, the stock, and the straps. And then beneath that is a broom handle Mauser, also with a stock. And each of those three guns is in mint condition. And below it is, a, is another artillery Luger. I guess we'd all like to have one of these in our closet. Be a good retirement item. Oh, we just pulled in the driveway from the Great Baltimore Arms Show back to New Jersey, and I thought I would show you just one good piece that we bought on the way out of the show. <coughs> it's a um, a jawless lion head Prussian sword has a, um, a pair of um, cross swords cavalry theme uh, and it looks like the scabbard is a uh, blued version still has the lacquer on it with a nice shark skin grip and where do you see this look at look at that rosebud Damascus pattern isn't that something I got it from a gun dealer and uh, he just thought it was an old German sword and needless to say it was a uh, very uh, very attractive price because you don't see that large rose as much it's really spectacular so we had a good show there it's well worth the effort